<laughs> hey guys! What's happening? Welcome back to Hatch's Hooch! We got John Boy with us. What's up? We have Don. Yo. Owner and operator. And we have the Dock of Moonshine. Yes. Alright, <laughs> fellas. Today we've been up here at South Mountain Distilleries for the release of the Sinister Whiskey. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, that Sinister, that's hey. it. That's some Ooh. good whiskey. Uh, but now, we're gonna try some Jasper Shine, which we've done this before, but being up here for the big day, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. As a matter of fact, this is batch number three. We had batch number one, so maybe a little different. Mm -hmm. Only gets better. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, Don, tell us a little bit about your uh, operation here and some moonshine and all. Well, me and David, the Doctor Moonshine, started it back. Uh, we started to build out in February of 2016, <coughs> and. When we took this place over, it was an old t-shirt printing place, and was it not dirty or what? It was full of lint. Yeah. And wow. We didn't want any of that lint coming in our products, so we, we vacuumed the whole, whole building. building. <laughs> yeah. So there was a lot of, a lot, it took us about six months to do the belt build out uh, while we were waiting on the permit, for the final permit, hey, because, because you had to have your steel and your building before you get your permit. Uh, we had a lot of time, so we put a lot of hard work and uh, love into this place. Uh, we sweated it out through 100 degrees. <laughs> and through freezing. Yeah, freezing. Freezing, yeah. then heat. Yeah, and then we got to start to make some stuff, and uh, we started with a little 13 gallon steel. We yes. had uh, too many cooks in the kitchen the first batch, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we still have it over there if anybody wants to come by and uh, look at it, smell it. Nobody's perfect. That's why we kept it. Uh, but that was the only batch that we've scored since then. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, we're making, the, we just completed our 100th batch. Uh, we just did that this past Wednesday. We were excited about that. We're looking for our next 100th batch. Uh, so everybody just keep on supporting the, the North Carolina Spirits. It's a big business in North Carolina. We're not just the only one. There's there's about 50 active distilleries in North Carolina. They got a little distillery trail, North Carolina Distillery Trail. Check them out. They got all of them listed. Uh, Jasper Shine, Chad Triplett, he contacted us uh, the day that it hit the papers. Uh, Wanted us to do his grandfather's moonshine. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, the day it hit the papers, he contacted us. Wanted us to make his grandpa's moonshine. I told him, I said, I was making my grandpa's moonshine. And I told him I'd think about it, and I thought about it, and we decided we'd do it because it helped the brand and everything. And uh, we were excited. We think it's a good product. It's a traditional, it's uh, no sugar added, it's all grain. Uh, what I mean by that, it's 80% uh, corn, 20% barley, no sugar added. You've got a good so little CD with it. Now, yeah. it's got for our viewers that don't know who Chad yeah. Triplett is, explain who he is. He is uh, Jasper Triplett's grandson. And uh, Chad, he's a regional country music singer. He's got a song on YouTube and on Facebook called Jasper Shine. It goes really well with the, it's a great pairing for yeah. the product. Yep. Throw it in the CD player or on iTunes. And it's uh, got the Jasper Shine yep, song, song on it. Yep. There's Jasper's old steel that yep. got him in trouble right there. Yeah, that's see what, the part Revenuers of hatchet marks in it. That's where Jasper Shine started, right there in that old barrel. Yeah. All right, Doc, now what, what part do you play here at the uh, South Mountain Distillery? I do whatever the boss man tells me when he tells me that's all why, the time. That's why you get them paychecks, ain't it? Yeah, that's it. Me and him have been partners in crime for 18, 18 years, years now. Nice. Yeah. Y'all probably got into quite a bit of trouble here and there. Oh, huh? we've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We built this and built that, and yeah. now we've built this. Yeah, make this, make that, and make this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. If, with us two, I mean, we put our heads together, we can pretty much accomplish anything. I can do anything. 
You have to have run that label. If you see a label right. come across, they're right there. Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't good, then I'll have something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back and get it get on yeah. the dock. <laughs> All right, well uh yeah. let's let's drink some moonshine, fellas. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna pour in this shot glass here and pour it in our glasses. Johnson? Uh, Don, you gonna drink some with us? I better hold off on this one. Okay. For now, right. I'm on duty. Ah, uh, there you go. I'm there on duty. Me too. Yeah. So, we'll let you guys do the. That's understandable. We like watching other people enjoy. Yeah, that's right. Y'all done learned your lesson. Right? <laughs> yeah. We get to taste it at 180 proof. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't have the pleasure yet. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, but. While we were talking, he I may, gotta, he may not have the pleasure of drinking it. I gotta go and make a change. <laughs> He's got uh, the wild man will tell you that it'll clean your glass uh, through like you ain't you never had. That's over true. There. <laughs> uh, Don had to go change the uh, bottle out for the, mm -hmm. the moonshine coming out of steel. Because we got so steel running, running right now. So uh, everybody knows that Johnson here is my moonshine guy. He enjoys moonshine. And uh, yep. kind of a connoisseur, if you will. <laughs> so uh, uh, the last one we had was batch one. Yep. I'm excited for this batch three. See how different it is from the first one we tried. And what, while Donnie's taking a break, always check these guys out. Hatchets, hoots, spirit views, no matter where they're at, because they're honest. They tell it like it is, and they do a great job. So That's right. We check we out try them to... fellas. Try to be as honest as we can, even though sometimes honesty is not, you know, the, the we most We didn't pay him a penny thing. to come down and do this. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, like we've said many times with the haunted house stuff, get out and support your local haunts. Get out and support your local distilleries, too. Right. These guys yeah, work. Right. I just talked to Don's wife, and she said, I don't even hardly see him half the time. That's right. <laughs> He's up here working. Yeah. It takes long hours to make a good product. Oh, so. it does. It really yeah, does. there's a vehicle here to stop in. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to Donnie. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. the one thing we've always tried to do with this is these are common reviews for the common man right. by the common man. That's, That's right. right. That's where that honesty comes from. So, yeah. All right, Johnson. Let's Salute. enjoy this. Mm. <laughs> There's that corn, man. That corn hits right off the top. Mm. Y'all got a good job. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's good. I'm going to tell you, that batch one had a lot of heat on it. It's so much yeah. hotter than this. Really? This here, in pure flavor, it, yeah. you can enjoy that without even thinking about it. Right. There's no night, no ice needed. That batch one, you added ice to it, and it all calmed down really quick. But this here, man, that's good. it's hot. It's, it's great. It's better every batch. So the corn flavor on the front end there comes man, out good. really hard, knocking. And then that little spice from the... Barley. Yeah, that barley just, mm. man, it's it's got its own flavor. And I know a lot of moonshine's made with corn and barley and rye and stuff, but I'm, like I've said before, we've tried that stuff in the liquor store, that midnight moon, that Georgia moon. Sugarhead. Sugarhead. <laughs> that is not moonshine that we have here in western North Carolina. In western North Carolina, this product really represents what the local old man out in the, the woods is, is making. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. We learned it from the old man yeah. out in the woods, man. Yeah. You look like you've yeah. been out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, yeah. you know. We had a good source, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. And that's where all this comes from is carrying on a family uh, heritage. And, uh, you know, like there's nothing better than carrying it on. Well, when you like your job, it's easy to go in every day. And... <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, um, this Jasper Shine's really good. Now you said you were your grandpa was wanting to, you wanted to make your grandpa's You're right. recipe. Now yeah. how did that recipe differ from the Jasper? Well, the my grandfather's <laughs> recipe called for malted corn. In this one, we use malted barley, and, right. and malted corn is not commercially available. And uh, we actually had some unusable space here in our shop, and we decided we'd carry on that family her heritage of malting the corn. Okay. And. Uh, that's what our sinister is. My family's recipe so is in an oak barrel. Okay, so, so uh, the sinister is your yeah. grandpa's. Mm -hmm. That's a hundred percent corn, aged in an oak barrel. So. Well, I'm gonna tell you, man, that sinister is it's yeah, on delicious. point. That that's some good whiskey. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sheila was here to done it review with. She says better than Jack Daniels. Oh yeah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> there we go. I like that. <laughs> My friends say our Table Rock rum is better than. Uh, 
Bacardi. <laughs> uh, well, you know, when, we, when I tasted the rum, it's not like a Caribbean rum. Right. I've never had a, a rum that tasted like that before. Yeah. It's show. excellent. I really oh, like yeah. it. Well, the way we build our still is we build it to leave a lot of the flavor in it. The more plates you have, the more stripping goes out of it. Right. And we wanted to kind of take it back pre-prohibition, kind of the early days where there was a lot of flavor in your whiskeys and your rums and stuff. And nowadays, you know, the large distilleries and stuff, they they pretty much can strip it all out and add whatever flavor back in it, you know. But we're we're small, and we think the smaller is better because you got more control over your batch size sure, and everything sure. like that. And you know, we sit here and watch it run from like nine o'clock in the morning till twelve o'clock oh, at yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bobby it's, says, "What up, John boy? What up?" <laughs> All right. And then, Johnson, let's try some with yeah, the ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the ice the camera. Camera. <laughs> that ice brings that flavor mm -hmm. out. Mm. Mm -hmm. So much corn and that <laughs> I barley. Can taste that. Ah, I got yeah, that barley so much more. <laughs> when, so when, much more. When you yeah. drink it hot, the alcohol vapors kind of overpower some of the flavors. But when you mm. cool it down with the ice and the water, yeah. it really brings the flavor. And that's from moonshine to tequila to whiskey to bourbon, whatever. My lord, man, that flavor that's really so comes good. through. Yeah. That is that is wild how different it is though. From batch one was way harder. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. And this is like it, it's it just seems to be more cured now. You know? Right. Now I have people a lot ask me when you guys make the flavors and that matter. Here's what I tell them. I say, well, you can go down the road and see your buddy from the backwoods and get you some. I said, it's gonna be about 78 proof. I said, and all they do is they bring it home, they open up some jars, they put some pineapple, they put this, they put that in it. I says, go out and get you a bottle of Jasper Shine at 100. Right. And then start own. from there and make you yep. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Uh, that way you can double what you're going to get. Now, you, know? you can take uh, this, this Jasper Shine and put some uh, fruit in it oh, yeah. and leave it sitting for six, eight months. Oh, yeah. You're going to have some of the mm, finest oh, tasting yeah. liquor around. Yeah, that's right. And it's going to be high proof, too. Pretty yeah. much you can use this. This is basically like a neutral grain spirit. You can pretty much make any mixed drink that you would do a vodka or right. a... Uh, you know, rum or anything. PJ. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. something that nobody yeah. likes. Like, Donnie yeah, likes to call it a white PJ corn whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it, we didn't add any sugar, so it really could be considered a you know white whiskey. You know, because it's eighty percent corn, twenty percent barley. You can call it a white whiskey, unaged whiskey. Window cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people used to use it I for uh, coffee. Can I yeah. raise the, my gas yeah. tank? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Use it for coffee measure. Now, yeah. uh, it, it's rare to get some somebody that makes a hundred percent uh, grain. Yeah. A lot yeah. of guys yeah. will put uh, corn or cornmeal and then add sugar into yeah. it, mm -hmm. which makes a harshness. Exactly. I feel. Yeah. That's the way I feel. feel. But yeah. this here, I mean, and that's probably why it tastes so good with the ice when right. it brings that the alcohol down, and then the flavors are just so much. Yeah. That's it, where the, the stuff in the liquor store, like the uh, Midnight Moon, that's just sugar stuff. Yeah, and yeah. It's, you know, it's harsh on yeah. you. Yeah. One thing that a lot of people don't know is when, like, a lot of people put their alcohol in the refrigerator or the freezer, well, that's bringing down the alcohol content at that temperature. Well, w once your body, that makes it smoother to drink. Well, once your body gets it, it heats back up and the alcohol comes back to the regular brew. So, you know, like at we have to proof everything at 60 degrees at 101 proof at normal temperature at about 70 degrees, it might be 103 proof. But if you take it down to say 32 degrees, it might be only about 80 proof, you know? Right. So it makes it a lot smoother, but once your body gets it, it's gonna come back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then on a hot day, like at the festivals we go to, it's actually probably 105, 107 proof out in the sun. So yeah. you might get a little more heat that way. It's probably why the Germans like drinking their beer hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if there's any Germans watching, but well, they, 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 they know how to drink it. That's right, they know how to drink it. There you go. All right, well, uh, 
Man, it's been such a good day up here at South Mountain Distilleries. Don, thank you yeah, so much well, for inviting us up. Kind of and you know, all hard to hang out with you boys yeah. and sip on one of your bottles. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Doc, it's nice meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to thank Paulette from New Zealand. Yeah, the New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. 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 bring it in she's, there. Step she's in been there. down here. <laughs> oh, look here. We got one to sign here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, these guys will put their autograph on there. And, and like Don said, Batch uh, 001. That's right. Like Don had said before, um, his name's on it, so he wants yeah. to make a good product. Right. Definitely. And that's like our next product, Dignified. We're going to hold it oh, a little I longer just to make it even better. <laughs> uh, that's what next, little next secret was, surprise. we got to try a little bit of that Dignified. Oh, yeah. And at three months age, mm. it was magnificent. So I cannot wait till the release of that. Yep. We yeah. actually found an importer of some Irish tea. That we smoke a little bit of our oh, grain man, with. That, that so Gives it that smoky good. flavor. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching and mm -hmm. come see us anytime. Stop by. If you yeah. see a vehicle yeah. here, come on you're in. You're welcome. Uh, if you're out here in North Carolina where we are, man, South Mountain Distillery is just right here in Rutherford College. It's uh, right down the street from Morganton, hey, Western North Carolina. Yep. On 540. Baldy. Baldy. <laughs> yeah. Rutherford College. Rutherford College. <laughs> uh, yeah. These guys have got a store yeah. like none other. Man, when you walk in here, you just smell the mash in oh, the air. The mash is wonderful. It's, it's wonderful. They got all kind of products. You can you can buy jellies and jams just, and t-shirts. I just bought and some, uh, beer, some beer stuff yeah. I thought I was going to need, and then I, I think my beer just grows another end. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, come get visit these guys, and uh, if you're watching this from different parts of the world, Get out and support your local distilleries. Those guys depend on you coming out and checking them out and drinking their drinking their fine products. Yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us on this episode of Hatchet's Hooch, Facebook Live. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yep, thank and you. we'll see y'all next time. Yeah, Hatchet's Hooch is going to, uh, we're going to find it. We'll let you know where to go. That's right. <laughs> we'll be doing more. All right. See you guys. Bye. Thank you.